Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to install Java JDK in your Mac OS. And thereafter, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure this Java in your Mac OS. So let's get started. To get started, I'll click on this spotlight. In the spotlight search, I'll type terminal and press enter. The moment you press enter, you'll get this terminal guys. And in this terminal, we are going to run some commands. So what are the commands? If I move it here, this terminal here, you can see the commands here guys in the notes. First command is Java hyphen version. Okay. So why we have to run this Java hyphen version before installing Java, I want to check whether any existing version of Java is already installed in my machine. Okay. So how to check that? I have to type Java hyphen version here and press enter. The moment you press enter, if you get any particular version of Java, that means Java is already installed in your machine. If you don't get any particular version, that means Java is not installed in your machine. Now let me run this uh, command Java hyphen version. You see the operation couldn't be completed. That means there's no particular version here guys. That means Java is not there in my machine. Now, how to install Java in your machines? For that guys, I will open this new tab. Here I'll type Java 11. JDK download. Just Google search for Java 11 JDK download. And the results of the Google search, you will get this first link saying uh, oracle.com Java AC development kit 11 downloads. Okay. If you get this link in the search results, just click on this place from oracle.com. Okay. And you will be on this page. Scroll down on this page. And here you will see different operating systems for which you can download the Java. I'll be choosing the Mac operating system, okay, Mac OS, and that too, this installer, Mac OS installer. Instead of the zip file, I'll go with the installer, guys, okay? So the installer will have the DMG extension, as you can see here. Click on this, and you'll get this uh, kind of dialog where you need to accept this and click on download. It will take you to the oracle.com login page, okay? So here you have to have an account with Oracle guys. If you have, if you want to download Java in your machine, then you have to have an account with Oracle. If you don't have an account, create an account guys. If you already have an account, then just give the credentials here. Around dot, okay, my credentials I am giving. Click on sign in. The moment you click on sign in guys, Java will get downloaded. So let's wait for it to authenticate. You see, it started, okay? The Java download has started, okay? So this will take some time guys uh, for downloading. So what I did is, uh, okay, let's wait guys. This is the older one, it's not downloaded properly. So that's fine, let's wait for this. So I have waited for the Java to completely download here. Okay, I passed it the video meanwhile. Once the Java is completely downloaded here, as shown here, I'll simply double click this. So it will open, it will open something. You see, you'll get this kind of JDK 11.0.11 with this package thing. And you need to double click on this package. In a while, you'll get an installation wizard like this. And you just need to click on continue. Go back, go back. So continue. So fine. Uh, if you have, if, if you get all these things, just simply click on continue guys. Introduction and destination. So let's simply click on continue and installation type. You have to say install guys. Okay. And here you need to give the password of your machine, Mac machine and say install software. In a very less time, you will see that it will be installed. You see install succeeded. That's done. Okay. We have successfully installed Java in my machine. Close it. So it's saying whether you want to keep this installer or not, I will say Moto Trash. I don't want it. After installation, I don't want that. Uh, okay. Installer. Click it. I'll clear this. I'll close everything, guys. Okay. I'll go back to the notes. Okay. We have successfully downloaded the Java JDK 11 in my machine and also I have installed it. So how to confirm whether Java is successfully installed in your machine or not for that again, you have to open the terminal and same command you have to run guys. What is the command we have, we have run earlier? 
to know whether the java is installed in your machine or not that is java hyphen version right this command same command i am going to type java hyphen version command and press enter this time you got the version 11.0.11 that means java is now installed in your machine once the java is installed in your machine the next thing you have to do is you have to configure it you have to configure the java in your machine by setting this java underscore home okay we have to set the path java path to this java underscore home so how to do that first of all to see whether any path is already set for this java underscore home in your machine you have to type echo space dollar java underscore home type this guys okay echo space dollar java underscore home and press enter you see there is no java path that is currently set to this java underscore home as part of configuration so we have to set it how to set that guys to set that we have this commands guys echo dollar shell okay type that command echo small letters i will give echo dollar shell and press enter you will get something like slash pin slash zsh if it's so if you are getting this bin zsh especially this one zsh under bin here your command should be like this okay here your command should be like this okay vi next command for configuring the java in your machine is this one guys vi negation symbol slash dot zshrc okay zsh this zsh followed by rc and press enter you'll get this kind of screen okay you'll get this kind of screen guys so where you have to press i just press i key on your keyboard so the moment you press i keyboard you'll get this insert it will get converted to insert where you have to type okay now you can type this the moment you change the editor to insert by pressing the i keyboard keyboard key okay then you can start typing what you have to type here after you press i you have to type this command export okay you have to type export java underscore home is equal to dollar this path okay so let me type export space java underscore home is equal to dollar the circular brackets you have to specify slash user slash lib exec slash java underscore home like this okay and close the circular brackets this is a command guys okay now press this is fine guys this is fine uh, after this is done uh, you have to press escape and say colon wq okay just press escape followed by colon wq after pressing escape key you have to type colon wq and press enter you'll come out of this now let's see echo dollar shell echo dollar shell the same command okay after setting the path to the java underscore home i am typing again echo dollar shell sorry not echo dollar shell guys i have to type this command okay vi okay sorry sorry not that not that so this one guys sorry okay doll uh, echo java underscore home okay i'm getting confused a bit that's fine happens echo space dollar this java underscore home i have to type okay not shell or something okay that's not correct java underscore home just to see whether the path is set or not i have to type this command right not this commands okay so to see whether the java path is set at this uh, java underscore home i have to type echo dollar java underscore home still it is not set guys maybe i have done some mistake let me go back to the same echo shell then i'll repeat this then this is something i have written already why it's not uh, save then okay so escape i pressed escape properly okay escape colon w q press enter a code okay it's not coming give me a second okay let me do one thing guys uh, i will exit from here 
okay i'll exit from here once okay okay saving session okay all the things press enter exit and i'll close this and again i'll open the terminal again and this time i'll type echo dollar java underscore home press enter this time you got the path guys okay you got the path that means it got set only thing is that you have to just restart this terminal guys okay you have to close the terminal and come out of the terminal exit the terminal and then again open the terminal and type this echo dollar java underscore home if you get this path that means java is successfully configured in your machine so guys these are the steps for installing java jdk in your mac os and also how to configure the java that is already installed in your mac os in your mac okay so that's it guys thank you bye